hello there, everybody. I'm back. Again. Did you miss me? Oh no, you didn't, because nobody watches these. Uh, I'm starting a new one again. So, uh, yeah. And this game, for those who do not know, is a Zelda game by the name of Link's Awakening DX. The original version of this game had no color. And this one does, as you can plainly see at this moment. And Link starts out on a ship and he, you know, lightning strikes, he ends up on an island and there's an egg. A giant egg. main theme of the whole series, you know. And see, I already have a file here, but that's okay, we'll just make a new one. And, uh, yeah, I already have Jesus, so I have to go with Jeebus here. Creative, right? And you start waking up in this house of a stranger you've never met. What a relief, I thought you'd never wake up. You were tossing and turning. What? Zelda? No, my name's Varen. You must still be feeling a little woozy. You are on Coordinate Island. And that's the setting of this game. Follow the something something south to the beach where I found you. Since you wa washed ashore, lots of nasty monsters have been in the area, so be careful, okay? And this guy looks like Mario. Well, you must have finally snapped out of it. Name's Tarin. Hope you're feeling better. What? How did I know your name? I think that's weird stuff. Well, I know. I saw that on the back of the shield. And this is where you get your shield. And this game is quite the surreal game for a Zelda game. Very weird. For example, we're gonna go in here and take a phone call. Hello, it's me, Orira. Ask me anything about the island. If you get lost, give me a call. Hi, quick. And. Believe it or not, Olrira is actually very close to us already. After we talk to this woman sweeping the ground. Right in this building, this is Olrira. Uh, uh, Bouncy, please call outside. Deep the old man Olrira is a shy guy in person. And then we'll go up here. Notice that's a chain chomp, yes, from the Mario series, in case you didn't know. And this is a little bit of information, an area of information you can just go to, but I don't need it because I'm so awesome at the game that I definitely don't die in this video at all. And you may be wondering where I'm heading. I'm trying to find my sword on the beach where we washed ashore. Because, you know, they couldn't just pick it up for me when, you know, I washed ashore, and they had to just, you know, not do it. Oh, oh. So you are the lad who owns the sword. Now I understand why the monsters are starting to act so wildly. A courageous lad has come to wake the windfish. It is said that you cannot leave the island unless you wake the windfish. You should now go north to the mysterious forest. I will wait for you there. Oops. This is where shit gets real, essentially. Nobody stands in my way. And we'll spend our time backtracking here to get back to the village and then on to the mysterious forest, which I definitely do not get lost in at all, or anything. Because I really haven't played this game much, this is kind of a blind run. Kind of, not really. And jump down here to find... A, your first piece of art. If you collect four of these, you basically get another part of life. At this 
piece of grass and you're in the mysterious forest. Oh, well, very young man. Oh, no, I'm doing a different voice now. I don't really care. Welcome to the mysterious wood. Much of mystery you will find on this uncharted coconut island. I'm afraid you may find it a trifle difficult to leave the island while the windfish naps. By the by, have you ever visited the tail cave, which in south of the village? Go there with the key you find in this forest. The windfish is watching. Ooh. And this is your first real dangerous area. It has moblins in it. And this is going to be painful commentating on this because I did really bad here. Like, this is the first part of the game and I just really screwed up. And we should make up a guardian acorn, which doesn't really matter much, but reduces damage by half, which is always nice, I guess. And we're going to be coming back to this raccoon guy later. I, I, I was kind of an idiot and just run around in this area forever, but... I guess apparently you get lost if you don't do a certain thing to this raccoon guy. So let's go into this cave and do stupid stuff. And see, that treasure is just tempting me, so I have to go back. And this is where I really fail, but don't mind me, I'm kind of an idiot. And yes, I do die around this area, just trying to grab these rupees. But it's not really that much of a pain if you die here anyway, so... Excuse me, I really haven't played this game that much. But I get 50 rupees for my trouble. It was totally worth it. And this is where I try to be a hero and just don't care about my low health. In a second. In a second. And dead. <laughs> but, uh, uh, yeah, I just run around for no reason for a while because I forgot where to go. Even though I've already played through this on my other file very recently. I just wanted to make this my, uh, let's play through file thing. I run all over the place for no reason, really. Or figuring out what I need to do, so don't mind me. I suppose we can do a little more exploring. And it's very difficult to commentate because I feel so bad for actually keeping this in. Instead of editing it out or trying to do recording or what. And don't attack that guy, he will shock you. At least for the moment. And that's where, where we will be going eventually. I don't have a necessary item to get any use out of it. So let's head back into this mysterious forest right here. And these things won't die because they're jerks. Now I go over here for no reason. And uh, this is a great fairy, it will heal all your health. I'm sure if you know anything about a Zelda game, you probably already know this, but here you go. I really don't know how long it takes me, honestly. I don't know at what point I actually stop being stupid. At some point I do realize that I need to go to the cave again. I just grabbed the rupees in there and I just forgot it, was, it existed, but... I'll figure it out eventually. I'm sorry, everyone. Yeah, look at how smart I am. Same place again, and I'm like, ugh. At this point, I was actually getting, like, a little weirded out, because I 
I have to figure out where to go even though I've already done this before. I guess sometimes I just act like I'm in games. Just forget. But I think I'll get better as this whole thing goes on. And uh, about the rest of my stuff that I used to be doing, I'll probably still do Superstar, but X3, that might be a while before that happens. I'm just, I'm just saying. And it, this is me finally figuring out where to go and not being retarded. And we'll grab a mushroom. It gives off a mellow, a very mellow aroma into your nostrils. And we have to backtrack to that cave again and hopefully not get hit or die as I did before. be grabbing that piece of heart for at least a little bit. I don't know exactly when because I haven't played this game enough to know. I'm sorry. And this is where I, you know, still fall in a hole, but at least I don't die. And then I, I'm like, the, what? But yeah, let's go back and it'll fix all the broken tile and we'll be able to walk right through. And hopefully not die! And I actually enjoy the music here. It's, I mean, it's not really great, but I mean, it's a Game Boy game. It's pretty good for a Game Boy game. And this little item here increases attack power. Oh, excuse me. But we still don't have the actual item we need to get this raccoon to stop bothering us, so I'm about to go do that. Me going the wrong way again. Congratulations. Me not caring about getting hit. Remember the old tree that I, was, that I saw? Yeah, that's where we're going to. Um, it's to grab a new item. Using the toadstool we've already, we've already picked up. And this witch lady needs a toadstool. Conveniently, we happen to have one. Ah, it has a secret toadstool at that. Uh, and fast forward music. Yeah, I don't feel like you doing a witchy voice. Uh, I love doing all sorts of different voices, but sometimes I just I'm just lazy. I don't wanna do it. And now we head back to the raccoon. So we can actually make some progress, you know? Honestly this took way longer than it should have, I'm sorry. <laughs> Backtracking will be at back at the raccoon. And we use the magic powder on him. And he will sneeze. Or something. The last thing I can remember was biting into a big juicy toast. Then I had the darndest dream. I was a raccoon. Yeah, it sounds right. You were sure it was long. <coughs> oh dear god. That voice killed my throat. And now we have this tail key, which will let us enter the first dungeon of the game. And this owl comes to annoy us again. Retrieve the instrument that is hidden there. Go now, the windfish is waiting. Ooh. And that'll be the end of this part.